哇，马伊，马伊，马伊，哇哦，马伊，哦 ，Ben， 哦 ，Ben， 哦 ，Ben， 哇。Yeah. Well, lovely to see you, Seerat and Tush uh, Tushar. So, Tushar, you are producing. This is your second outing as producer, and you are acting also. What was easier? Uh, neither is easy, but acting is definitely easier because uh, at least you are done in a time frame. As a producer, you never know when you're done with these pandemics and with all the uncertainties and unpredictabilities of, at the box office, and now with the Delhi traffic, I think it's the producer who suffers more than the actor, because I need to get all the interviews done, you know, as the producer. Yeah, were you really stressing like a producer logistics and then acting in promotion? Yeah, but not on set. When I'm on set, I was just into the acting part of it. Otherwise, it would become too much. But now releasing the film and. Uh, All this, all the, you know, the, there's like this silent negativity, because uh, you never know which film does well, which film doesn't. So you don't know what's in store for you. You don't know where you're going. But uh, the practice is what's keeping me strong amidst the the grey, you know, amidst all the grey. Amongst the marich. Amongst the marich, yeah. This. Production is like being a as a marriage only. It sucks you in. It uh, deceives you into believing that you're doing the right thing, and then you realize all the the demons behind that mask. Sir, <laughs> <laughs> tell me, this is your debut in, as I would say, Bollywood. But today, it's a pan India. Ho gaya hai. But you are a choreographer also. You are an actor also. Is there something that you can't do? So I. You can maneuver the Delhi traffic. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> that i don't think is in anyone's control but i think it's a little overhyped i was trained as a dancer i did grow my wings into the world uh, i was training with ashley lobo in his company which helped me uh, you know get onto the film of uh, the sets of rockstar and that's a film that i happened to assist only because there was this young girl who was also taking classes and training as a student in the company um so i haven't i don't believe that i'm a choreographer until i actually put a whole piece together or a show together uh i would like to call myself a dancer a singer and an actor and generally i look at myself as a creative kid so choreography of course you know once you once you once you come from behind the scenes and theater you understand everything regardless of what's being portrayed you know behind the scenes you know what lies so i don't think i can um I can I can see a invisible you know sheet between I think it's it's pretty clear that channel is pretty clear So how come Marich for making your debut in I Big love, Bad Bollywood I love it I love it because uh, I've been introduced as a character through this film versus um doing something which may not project my strengths necessarily and i think that was very important a character which connects with the audience and which is well written um has some depth and layering behind uh, you know of course what everyone expects of a woman today um is why i chose a story because i had uh, met the team and the director dhruv he's also written the story In fact he knew at the time that I had already worked on uh, south films but he wasn't convinced he looked at me and he's like do you have something that i can see right now of yours on a visual i said i have a tv see but that was shot like a few years ago he said i don't mind i just want to see it and i was so intrigued already because uh, here's someone who's seen your work but wants to see if you fit into the character further on there itself i knew i was in the right hands and i had nothing to worry about and then it just got bigger and bigger with Tushar Kapoor coming in and of course oh, he listen like he hates man. compliments <laughs> no not old uh, no Tushar by the way i interviewed you for your first film so the <laughs> old person here is me over the past 22 years you've also like played a different shades you yourself have been very honest about you know the highs and the lows and now you've turned producer How tough is it now to make movies honestly in the scenario we are in? Because when you made your debut, I think the audience and life was a little more forgiving than it is now. Uh, not really. Us zamane mein bhi matlab bahut sare ups and downs hua karte the. Every zamana has its own pros and cons. Lekin filhal abhi to I think filme aati hai, jaati hai, log bhool bhi jaate hai. Itna aapke success ya failure ko seriously lete nahi hai. It's like fast food. It's like come and go. So you're not like brooding about something. It's it's uh it's understand and understandable that movies some movies work some don't and we all dealing with a post pandemic adjustment to box office 
the the vagaries of the box office or whatever you may call it the unpredict- unpredictability of the unpredictability of the box office so everybody understands everybody is like busy with their own stress us zamane mein i think wo bahut pull down karne ki koshish karte the and everyone's like looking at like a hawk at everyone else yeah. because they were very few media outlets they were very now there's so many opinions that you can't really be you can't create a monopoly about you know what's right and what's wrong there's no uh, it's all in front of you yeah there's no there are no insiders and outsiders everybody's an insider you know that so i feel it's easier now in that sense but it's harder to make money yeah for sure it's harder to make money as far as being a producer is concerned it's easy to make a movie as you asked me it's also difficult do teen mahine mein ban jati like very hard to make money not truly and also the fact about the star system they said that the star is gone the star system is over do you agree or no a star system to hamesha se hi matlab ki there are big films and there are small films and there are all kinds of films that work but i guess now the audience is even choosier so mm. they can smell good content or they are very selective about what they want to watch they're not going to go and watch anything so you can't guarantee a hit with a star which is also always i think the case but i think earlier on at least get these your openings now the openings are also as per the audience's wish so yeah as per, i like that as per the audience wish yeah, yeah they like <laughs> we'll, we'll after two we'll uh, all the releases in two months they like this is what you want to watch and then everything else gets sidelined you know so that's how so you want to be the lucky one but uh, we hope that our content at least finds its niche you know Within if not initially market. gradually small films need to survive also and uh, we have some very good names with this movie yeah. nasir bhai i know you are reuniting with him after a while after, after dirty picture yeah so i mean dirty picture nobody expected so yeah. i hope like that this is also an alternative surprise for many i have not come across someone so honest and candid you you know usually in a sense you <laughs> are because you're not sugar coating anything yeah, yeah, no yeah. i'm not sugar coating coating anything and i know it's uh, it, it is what is it is it's a made, film made, made with a lot of heart a small film made with a lot of heart a lot of effort a lot of hard work a lot of sacrifice and a lot of sitting in the car of delhi traffic <laughs> yeah but uh, it's at the end of the day it's uh, a dark thriller it's not uh, It's not yeah. It's a it's a masala film. It's entertaining, but it is a dark thriller. And uh, uh, yeah, or क्या बोलूँ मैं तब कि आप अगर जाओगे देखने तो आप दो घंटे छोड़ोगे नहीं अपनी सीट को. That is what I can guarantee. चलो, we must go. I mean, you must also cheer Sirat on. Also, other than producer, actor, you also are papa. That is a huge responsibility. Which is your favorite character amongst your little one? Amongst my little one. Uh, no, amongst your little one, the movies. Which is the favorite character that your little one likes? Amongst oh. all your characters. He's right now watching uh, Minecraft videos. I don't know what they are. आपकी so picture नहीं देखता आपका. मेरी picture नहीं. फिल्मी बच्चा नहीं है अभी तक. अभी तक तो नहीं है. Different space, no? Yeah, it's young. Yeah, cool. they, it's like they watch Minecraft. Some certain videos about construction and all that. You know, they some somebody is giving you like a uh, lecture and it's like fun and it's very interactive. I have to sit and watch it carefully because it's aggressive. Yeah. And then Super Mario bhi dekhna yeah. shuru kar diya usne. But his favorite character he used to like Captain America. And kya uh, baat hai papa ki koi picture nahi dekhi hai? Nahi meri koi. Golmal dikha de usko. He has seen me in the Om Shanti Om song as a, uh, for a special appearance because they were doing some module in school with the dance and drama of their yeah. school classes they were doing something on Om Shanti Om. So he had to watch the song. So he said, "Baba, you're in this song." I said, "Yeah." I said, "He said that." He, I said, "I'm only there for a special appearance." He said, "But then you must be important if you're just doing a special oh. appearance." I said, "Yeah, I'm important enough to be in a special appearance." Stan is very thoughtful in you know his choices from whatever you've. I've never thank met you. him, but thank you, thank you. That's yeah. upbringing, thought, and you know yes. that's why we asked. We were just doing a survey, and a lot of people said, "What is one thing that you wish people wouldn't ask dads?" Ah. one thing that people uh, people what you wish people on the cliched questions i mean what are the i can't remember the cliched Sub questions sabse cliched aap se kya pucha gaya hai aapki kaun si film dekhta hai jisse aapne mujhe pucha hai no but bol ma dekhta hai ki nahi no no but as a dad which is that you wish that society wouldn't ask you questions like you know no 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 i am open to answering other questions because i have nothing to hide i'm not defensive about anything what is the tough thing about being a single dad Uh, the tough thing about seeing a single dad is like now that I'm traveling, so I can't be in Mumbai. So obviously my grandparents are there, and I have a very dear nanny mm-hmm. who's uh, like his didi, 
so we have good help in that sense but i can't be in, i can't be in both places there's yeah. there's a little bit of guilt yeah. though i get, I may, i'll make up for it but yeah uh i can't be in two places at one time that's the only difficult thing about being a single dad but everything else falls into place but if your heart and your intention is there to be there for your child even if you can't he knows it yeah. let's remember that it's he knows what is not possible but he knows what you want to do and why you can't do it it's it's like if you're there all the time with him and there are both parents there are two parents and they're always there but they're like in their own world that's also not cool yes absolutely yeah. so now coming to marich what is who is the ma- i mean for you who typifies and what is marich marich ka matlab aap bataoge to marich ka matlab evil hai Haan. you know so and what is the biggest evil oh i think uh, you can only be your biggest evil your mindset decides that and of course life throws a lot of obstacles and fruits and lemons and whatever you want to call it but your reaction to it and your interpretation is also very important you know sometimes we kind of get a little carried away with what people have to say to us and we lose in sight to figuring it out ourselves so let's not be reliant so much on someone else's information that we fail to find our own voice because i believe if you if you if you you know at least are on that path mm. then you can help make a difference just by being you you know you're not trying to ape someone or be like someone or think like someone then regret years later oh my god why did i listen to that and it just reveals it, it comes back to you and you realize a lot of things so yeah your inner voice should be um, you should you should be aware of it which is the biggest advice you i mean an advice you wish that you had never taken that you were given but you wish maine kabhi nahi li hoti ah oh, which is the biggest advice that i wish i had never taken uh mm. <laughs> advice to bahut mili hogi bahut mil itni advice to mujhe milti nahi hai lekin jo mujhe nahi leni chahiye thi advice main jo bhi advice hota hai aur nahi leni chahiye thi main nahi leta hu so it's not that there is something that comes to mind but there is an advice or sometimes the parents advise us about things and we ought to dis- we tend to disregard them so uh my parents of course they are very uh, open about my choices as far as my work is concerned they let me do what i want to do very they let me have my independence but they do advise me at times but don't go in that zone don't go in this zone and i'm like always like aapko nahi pata kya kya hai aaj kya you get to hear it from your son you get to hear it and get away so i think some i think my parents have more experience than us so i think that their advice should be taken more seriously I believe that yeah after even though I feel that they may not be right all the time they're not god I don't believe I don't believe in that logic their parents are parents are like god for us but they're not always right they're human beings yeah. but when they comes to advising you with their experience they more often than not they're right absolutely so one favorite role or dialogue of all times of the shark kapoor that you can tell one favorite role or dialogue of your time bata do aap दस वन डायलॉग हम आ रही चुनी जो मेरा फेवरेट तो नहीं है थोड़ा चीज़ ही है लेकिन लोगों को पसंद आ रहा है थोड़ा इस इस कहानी को मैंने शुरू किया और ख़त्म भी मैं ही करूँगा आई फाउंड इट लिल फिल्मी बट इट्स दे इन द ट्रेलर एंड पीपल आर नॉट माइंडिंग इट सो दैट्स माई फेवरेट डायलॉग लास्टली डू यू नो मैं दैसे तुषार कपूर दस थिंक गोल मार Yeah, that's that's. Thank God you didn't ask me that question. That's the most cliched question that you asked me. No, you didn't ask me. Thank God. But your all your followers want it. Ah, Golmal ka. Uh, a a o o a a o o. Ah, Golmal ka. 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 Ah, Gol Yeah. Wow, this is You are just amazing, man. I hope I did okay. You did. Yeah. Love it. Thank you so much both of you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much.